This video is intended to highlight the main eRedPack software version 7.2 features and enhancements. Let's start with a new feature, the patient folder. You may notice a new icon in the study control area of the work list. This is one of three places where you can access the patient folder. You will also find the patient folder icon in the quick view page and also in the diagnostic viewer. This feature allows the user to see details about the patient history including a list of prior and future orders, prior studies, technologist notes, reports, scanned documents, and demographic information. Prior studies are displayed in a timeline style list in a newest to oldest sort order. Scanned documents can be found in this area as small thumbnails. Position the mouse over the attachment icon to display a larger view of the attachment. Left mouse click on the thumbnail to add it to the image area. Once in the image area, you can use your left mouse button to change display modes from fit to window to fit to width and full resolution. Final reports are flagged with a gray bar on the left edge of a timeline item. To view the report, select the timeline item. Click on the report icon in the report section of the patient folder to display report content in the image area. It should be noted that the patient folder is a templated web page, meaning the layout can be customized. By default, there are two layouts available in ERED packs, one that is optimized for a portrait style monitor, the other that has been optimized for a landscape style monitor. The one you see in the video has been optimized for a portrait style monitor. When using the patient folder in the full diagnostic viewer, it should be noted that the window is persistent, meaning the viewer will remember the size and location of where it was last opened. One of the main benefits of the patient folder is the ability it provides the user to open prior studies without going back to the work list. To open a prior study from the patient folder, do the following. Find and select the study from the timeline section of the patient folder by clicking on the blue hyperlink text. You will notice a red border around the item when selected. Click the Add Study icon located just above the timeline. Notice the study will now load into the viewer's thumbnail panel. Here is the study we just loaded from the patient folder. ERAD PAX version 7.2 now supports document scanning. When documents have been scanned and attached to a study in a JPEG format, they can be viewed in several places within their software. First place you'll find scanned documents can be right on the work list under the PAX Attachments column. You'll notice the PAX Attachments column has a numerical value which is a hyperlink. If you left click on the hyperlink you'll be brought to another page where you can see small thumbnails. If you mouse over those thumbnails you'll see a slightly larger thumbnail. If you left click on it you'll bring it into the image viewing area. Once in the image viewing area you can toggle through three different display modes fit to window, fit to width, and full resolution. This behavior persists wherever scanned documents are able to be viewed. The second place you can see scanned documents we already spoke about, the patient folder. The third place you can see a scanned document will be right next to the images in the full diagnostic viewer. You will see them as a single series in a stacked format. The fourth place you can find scanned documents will be in the full report panel in the attachments tab. The next new feature we will cover is the web viewer. The ERAD web viewer displays images in a web browser and mobile devices. For browser requirements and details please refer to the help menu or the ERAD web viewer guide document. The web viewer may be accessed through the quick view page or the work list depending on a specific user permission. For demonstration purposes, I will use the Quick View page. This is the Web Viewer icon. Basic tools are available to manipulate images. This includes scrolling by using the mouse wheel or placing your finger in this area of your mobile device and moving up and down. Window level by holding the right click mouse button and moving the mouse 
up and down, left and right, or moving your finger over the image on a mobile device. Magnification by pressing and holding the right and left mouse buttons and moving the mouse up and down or using your fingers in a pinch to zoom like manner. There are cross-sectional references. Line measurements can be achieved by clicking on this line and then clicking and dragging over an area of measurement. Most features are location sensitive available only when you click or drag on specific edges or areas of the viewer. Click the question mark icon on the top right to display all options available. Final reports, scanned documents, and key images can also be seen here. Please note the device is intended for use as a diagnostic review and analysis tool by trained professionals such as radiologists, physicians, and technologists. This device is not intended to replace full workstations. Next, we will talk about new features and enhancements to the ERAD PAX viewer. After upgrading your viewer to the latest version, your viewer will have three basic changes that can be seen almost immediately. First, you will notice every thumbnail in the thumbnail panel will have a series description in it. Previously, the user had to mouse over the thumbnail to see its description. By default, it is a header. However, you can change this setting to display as a footer or even as text within the thumbnail that coincides with the DICOM overlay information. The next viewer behavior change has to do with double clicking an image. Previously, double clicking on an image or image frame did absolutely nothing. Now, when double clicking, you will notice the layout changes to a one by one format. Double clicking again will revert to the previous layout. The third behavior change has to do with shifting focus from one image frame to another. Previously, the user would have to click on an image frame to shift focus. Now, you simply just have to mouse over the desired image and scroll the mouse wheel to shift focus. The next feature is the macro feature. Assigning a viewer function to a key on the keyboard, third-party hardware device, or a custom right-click menu is now possible with the keyboard macro functionality. This functionality has its own toolbar and top menu. To record a macro, perform the following steps. Click the record button on the macro, toolbar, or from the top menu. Select the desired viewer function. I'm going to use the Magic X. Click the Stop Recording button on the Macro Toolbar or from the top menu. Assign the macro a name. Click the Change button to define the shortcut input sequence. Click Save when finished. To apply a keyboard macro, press the input sequence assigned to the macro. You can also assign the input sequence to an external device such as a Philips Speech Mic by using the Philips Device Control Center software. Gaming mice and programmable X keys have also been used in this way. Macros are available for reviewing, editing, and deleting from the Macro Manager icon. You can also add keyboard macros to create a custom right-click menu from this window by highlighting the desired macro, then clicking the Add button. You can use the arrows to resort the order. Right-click anywhere in the viewer to view the right custom right-click menu options. In this version of the ERAD PAX viewer, you can automatically create a key image or presentation state based on a specific annotation tool. To configure this setting, go to the Customize Settings page. Select the Presentation State tab. Notice you have three options on the lower half of this window. For this example, I will configure my user profile to automatically create a key image every time I use the pointer or arrow annotation tool. Notice all available tools are selected by default. Uncheck the ones you do not want to use.
click OK. Now, when I annotate an image with an arrow, I will automatically generate a key image. You can see the new key image in the thumbnail panel and in the full report panel. Another enhancement of the ERAD PAX viewer is that the Hanging Protocol Manager has been updated. The new algorithm includes support for series equivalency. It is capable of determining when multiple series descriptions identify the same series. This increases the success rate of matching series across different studies, specifically for modalities from different vendors. Your former Hanging Protocol should work with the new Hanging Protocol Manager. However, to take advantage of the new algorithm, each existing Hanging Protocol must be resaved, overwritten, or newly created. To resave and overwrite an existing Hanging Protocol, follow these steps. Apply the existing Hanging Protocol. Make desired changes to layout, image frame content, window level, zoom factor, or image linking. Click the Save button on the Template Toolbar. You should see the previously selected Hanging Protocol name already populated. This is needed in order to overwrite the existing Hanging Protocol. Notice you have an option to make this Hanging Protocol available for specific modalities only. This is a new feature that will reduce the amount of clutter in the Template's Toolbar drop-down menu. Acknowledge the overwrite prompt by clicking yes. Please remember, this video is intended to highlight the main ERAD PAX version 7.2 features pertinent to a radiologist user. For complete software details, please follow the link provided below to access field note documents.